So it was a very, very, very rainy day. It was actually pouring. When I said it was pouring, I mean it was pouring. It was a tropical depression. There was like heavy winds, heavy rain. And when I looked outside, what I noticed was some pebbles coming down. There was like a lot of pebbles just coming down. And I was like, look, mama, look what's happening. And she was like, that's ice. And I was like, oh, I want it. I want it. I want it. And she was like, it's, it's pouring out. I cannot let you out. However, I beg and I plea and I convince my mom to let me out right at the back of the door. So she opened the door and she accompanied me outside so I could, you know, try to catch one of the ice that was falling. So finally, I got one in my hand and I hold it like this. And she was like, eat it really, really quick, eat it really, really quick. So I just put the ice in my mouth and I was extremely happy. We went back inside. She, you know, used a towel, she dried my hair and we went around into the kitchen. When we went in the kitchen and she wanted to cook. However, lo and behold, all we had was charcoal. Okay, charcoal at that time, bad weather, everything was really a mess. So we have this little stove that you can actually put some charcoal in and you can actually cook on it. I know some people might know what I'm talking about. Some people might not know, but it's a stove that you use, that use charcoal. So she put that charcoal in, she light the charcoal and she, um, she put a pot on and she was making soup. She was using carrot, she was using turnip, and she makes some small dumplings and I don't remember what else was in it. And when that was done, we sat together, we ate and I was the happiest child. That is actually one of my fondest memory that I have of my mother. Always remember that day. I could not be anywhere older than six years old. I was somewhere between five and six because I cannot remember going to what we call big school. So it have to be somewhere between five and six years old. That has never ever left me. And today is Mother's Day. And I just want you all to just reflect on the fondest memories that you have, you know, that you share with your mom, okay? It is very, very important to celebrate Mother's Day. Years ago, I didn't celebrate Mother's Day. I didn't celebrate Mother's Day because of a very selfish reason. I lost my mom, my precious mom, when I was 15 years old. And ever since then, I think that Mother's Day was an unfair day. Just a day that I didn't want to celebrate. Just a day that I was so jealous of people going out, getting flowers, candies, candles. And I weren't able to do that. I wasn't able to do that because I didn't have a mother. And I didn't celebrate Mother's Day for a long time. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to start like this. I'm very sorry. <laughs> However, as the years goes by, I realized that not because my mom is not here, it doesn't mean that I shouldn't celebrate Mother's Day. And I woke up and now I start celebrating Mother's Day. I'm celebrating Mother's Day because of all the fun memories that I have with my mother. And on this day is a day that I choose to reflect and I choose to adore and I choose to appreciate the small things in life that my mom did for me. So if you're out there today, whether you're a mother, yes or no, I wanna wish you all a happy Mother's Day.
And I also want you to know that regardless if your mom is here or nay, whether you have a good relationship or you don't, you just need to respect and honor your mom. You might do things for your parents, your mom, every day, every day. However, when it comes on to this one special day, it's just a day to reflect and to acknowledge. So please, please send some love to your mom. Respect your mom, adore your mom, because guess what? You have only one, one. Some of you might question that because a lot of us have a lot of other people that are not our mom, birth mom that is. But regardless of who you choose to call your mom, love and respect, and don't let the day pass without saying that you love, you respect, you honor, and you appreciate. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. How are you all doing? Sorry, guys. Wasn't my plan. Not, not, not plan at all. I don't like to show emotions, okay? I don't like to share my weakness, okay? But that is one of my weakness. Happy Mother's Day to you all. Today, we're really not going to talk about skincare for so. I want us to talk about Mother's Day, okay? I want us to talk about Mother's Day. I want you to comment. I want you to share, you know, little things that you remember or that you shared with your parents that your mom that stand out to you. Mine was the story that I just shared. What is your story? What has really stand out? Um, anything, childhood, any found memories that you have with your mom, go ahead and comment. And while we're at it, we might talk a little bit here or there about Mother's Day. Let's do, if you're new to Sunday Chit Chat, we'll just change it up a bit. I know most of you are here for skincare. And yes, we're going to share some love talking about skincare. But we also want to remember this day because as I said, it is Mother's Day and we need to spend a few minutes just appreciating mothers today. We're also going to have a little token at the end of the show. So hang on in there. And let me do the regular shout out. Welcome to the subscribers. We have Jill, who was very new on the show. We have a new person on the show, Jeet Anja, very new first time, very early. We have Margaret. We also have Jason. Hi, Jason. We have Karen, Arganic, um, Butterfly, Makeup Forever, Jackie Mom. All the regular, regular are here. Tara Lynn, Essie, Loretta, Cynthia, Fenzi, welcome. And Inez, haven't seen you for a while. Risa, um, Shalapi, if I don't call your name, bear with me, Cynthia. Um, Pauline, hi, Pauline. Mm -hmm. And, um, and we also have a Sherry in Brown. So now let me hear you all comment. You're here, it's Mother's Day. Any fun memories that you have with your mom and you want to share? I know it might be a lot to write, but you can just break it down just in a few simple sentence and we will highlight it. So all the moms on the show today, happy Mother's Day to you. And if you are not a mom, you murdered someone, Happy Mother's Day, because we have a lot of those um, around. Let me hear one person here. Let's share Risa. One of my fondest memory is my mom made me a lot of food when I was leaving my country to come back um, statewide. So much that the customer officer asked me if I had a kitchen in my suitcase. <laughs> oh, well, that is a amazing now we have pauline and pauline is my cousin in case you don't know pauline see your mom was my second mother love her to pieces and for those of you who don't know pauline c is my cousin we're first cousin we shared you know two sisters kid and i used to be <laughs> jealous of her um anyway it's a long story but she loved my mom like there's no tomorrow. We have a family inside joke where we was like, you know, you know, who's still in whose mom, right? Anyway, um, thank you for that uh, comment. Now keep commenting, guys. We're gonna share some of your fondest memories that you have with your mom. Just make it in a, you know, nice like a sentence, and we definitely will highlight it. So we have um, 
I only saw her twice, but her image is in, engraved in my brain forever. So Dark Angel, that, that image, keep it there. It is worth it. If you're just joining, it's Sunday. Yes, we're going to talk a little bit about college and dark spot and all of that. But we cannot just have this show without talking about Mother's Day. We have like 75% um, of our viewers are females, and most of us have some you know, children, we all have parents, regardless of who you are, we do have a mother. So we're just taking the time to just, you know, share some memories that we have, fun memories of our mother. Sometimes we don't reflect on this, but it is very, very important. You might have children, however, we just want to hear your fondest memory of your mother, your mother. Okay, so go ahead and comment 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 so we have um um magdalene my mom passed away 2016 and i do love her so go ahead and comment guys we're sharing so we're showing things out there in the universe just talk about your mom a little and even if you don't have your mom around just comment you have to remember something well i know some people depend on certain situation but you're gonna have someone that take care of you that you consider to be your mother so i just want you to comment don't just watch and not comment so happy mother's day to you following you from um, nairobi kenya welcome to the live jane in case you're just joining what we are doing today we are just starting out the show by taking a few minutes to just show some love and some appreciation appreciation to our mom. It's Mother's Day, and this is the time for you to talk about it a little. Just reflect your fondest memory that you have with your mom. Now, um, Tamika lost her mom um, five years ago. So sorry to hear that, but guess what? The memories live on. Just focus on the nice thing. Focus on the things that make you smile, the things that you share with your mom. Comment, 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 and let me hear. Keep commenting, guys. What is your fondest memories that you share with your mother this is very important for us to take this time just to share just to give some love to our mom comment comment i'm waking and i i just i don't want i miss my mom so bad i'm crying right now and guys comment i'm i don't know if i'm seeing all the comments but i just okay so here is one um margaret going to the beach and shopping for my home together or anytime we are together just us and once i see that just us margaret i know you have sibling right it have to be one to use that just us just sharing that special time and honestly guys if you have children that is what is important those little special days that you spend if you have two three four five six kids it doesn't matter take each and every one of those child children child whatever and spend a, have a special one-on-one -on -one with that child a special one-on-one -on -one. that is the day that that child is going to look forward to and those are the days that the that child is going to remember always do that one-on-one -on -one because it means a lot that day when I sat in that kitchen with my mom, never ever leave me. It never, ever, never, ever, ever leave me. And I always, I could even now at such an older age, I can even remember the taste of the soup that she was making. And that is the honest truth. I can remember the soup, okay? I remember that taste. I remember the smell of the charcoal. Never leave me, very, very special. If you're just joining, I'm just asking you all just to comment 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 and any fun memories that you have with your mama your mom don't really have to pass for you to share this memory okay your mom could be right beside you right now so just share now vanessa i do remember going to her for advice and good times and bad times and that is another thing it's always good when you can talk to your mother okay your mother i was like one of those kids i used to talk a lot to be honest now i don't some of you might not think that but 
mine was like a lot of questions like i asked a lot of questions and it doesn't matter what question i asked it was always answer always always even if you don't know the answer come up with something do something say something you're just joining we're just asking you we are here for skincare yes we're going to talk about skincare in a minute but we just wanted to share some of the fondest memories that you have with your mom just type it you can type two words three words or a full sentence right where it said comment 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 now we have cynthia lost my mom 23 years ago she always want us a sibling to live in love she was a great cook and all the love going out to your mom cynthia you know it's always good when you can remember the food that your mom cook like <laughs> it's always like the best okay even if your mom is a, like a lousy chef in the kitchen the your mother's food is always always the best except when you have a granny right <laughs> when you have a grandmother that cooks then sometimes there is a little uh, riff going on there now lock it happy mother's day to all mom unfortunately i have no memory I was told she passed when I was five years old. Can't recall being with her. And so sorry for your loss. And I do understand that. And that's why I'm saying, apart from certain situation, you know, like, you know, people lost at a young age and all of that, you might not, but at least you actually know that um you was told something and maybe you don't have a picture. And another thing I want you parents to do, okay? Another thing I want you mom all to do, you always need to take a picture, okay? <laughs> Believe it or not. You need to take pictures, guys. Regardless if you don't like to take picture, always take a picture, right? Take a picture because you never know how important having a picture can be. And that is one of my mother. When my mom passed, I barely could find a picture with my mom. I do find one that I actually stole from my aunt Opie. Like I went to visit and she had more. Anyway, I have it in my briefcase somewhere. So, you know, like really, really tucked away. And it's actually a Polaroid guy. So, you know, that's gonna eventually, but I'm holding on to it and trying to keep it looking good. So I promised myself that I would take a lot of pictures. I would ever since then I was like I'm gonna take a lot of pictures that if anything should happen to me you know and I have children they will be able to see like at least an image of me welcome to the chat guys we're just sharing some love for Mother's Day and Vanessa I remember at Christmas time we would go out Christmas Eve night when we return there is usually be a transformation of the house would we'll never forget that forget that and the food off the hook and i could i could understand where that is definitely that's the time that they spent to to transform the house totally transforming the house jane when i was young during christmas mom used to buy me new clothes and shoes love her today may god continue keeping her healthy and she approach as she approaches 95 wow very very wonderful to have your mom around for such a long time amazing amazing golden child happy mother's day i remember my mom would cook for all of uh, our friends that live on our street and everyone would love coming over to our home and you can those are the good old days man the good old days when you could go to your friend's house and there's food in abundance okay my grandmother was like that anyone could pass through and there's a meal right there waiting now if you're just joining we're just taking a couple of minutes to talk a little bit about mother's day it's very very vital is a very important for you to reflect so if you have a good story you want to share about your mom go ahead and comment shereen my mom is sleeping for four years now but she was my best friend i could tell her um everything she was very encouraging love her so much and that's another thing when you can really talk to your mom then that is like the best thing ever when you can talk to your mom is like the best thing now i'm i lost my mom as i said when i was 15 and there are times now that i still cry like i just wish i was able to say things a shoulder and sometimes when things get rough it's like i just wish there was a you know that mother you never ever lose that need and that want for your mom now jill i keep a picture of my belated mother kissing my belated 
um, on my debts. And that's how you keep your mom alive. Chichi, you are looking very great today. Thank you so much for that. All right, guys. So I think most people, I can watch the, the, the count up and down. You're here for skincare. I just wanted to take 20 minutes and I think they all deserve that 20 minutes. 20 minutes to talk about mothers, okay? If you are a mom and you're watching, happy Mother's Day. If you're not a mom, birth mom, whatever, you mother someone, happy Mother's Day. And as I said to all of you, keep doing what you're doing, you know, be, you know, be, 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 be good to your children. And also, I hope your children spend the time to show some love and appreciation today. Welcome, Rita, to the show. All right, so our topic, we have five, four more seconds to talk about Mother's Day. So most people not commenting. Um, no one want to talk. Well, uh, am I to, to, to think that most of you watching not found of your mom? I doubt that. I just think that sometimes people are just a little lazy to type. All right, so let's move on. It's at Mother's Day. So what we're going to do today we are going to talk about skincare, okay? We are going to talk about skincare and some of the things that you can do to keep your skin looking younger and fresher on this Mother's Day. How many of you um, um, actually woke up to breakfast this morning in bed? <laughs> like, how many of you? Okay, let me read this one before I um, start with skincare. Now, Andrea, lost my mom 10 years, six months ago. I think about her almost every week. I love her cooking. She was always positive. She was a sweet lady. Everybody respect. Um, and she died off the big sea. Now, Alice Day went to spend Christmas with her. We stay in bed and she do all the cooking. Yes, yes, yes. All the cooking. All right. So, um, now, now we're going to move on since most people don't want to comment. We're talking about mothers. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Auntie. Happy Mother's Day to you, and I hope you're having an uh, amazing day. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm taking my sister to the spa today for Mother's Day. And that's another thing, guys. Definitely treat your your mom, okay? Is my, I mean, you treat your parents. I'm using the, I, I'm so accustomed to just saying parent, okay? But it's Mother's Day. We have to separate it. You treat your mom right during the, throughout the year. Um, okay, let's talk a little bit really, really quick about culture. We all know that um, different cultures, different people have different kind of a culture, different practices and stuff like that. My culture is, and I'm Jamaican in case people are wondering, um, we take care of our parents, okay? And I use the word parents at this stage. We are known to take care of our parents. And it doesn't matter how much your parents have, you're still supposed to take care of your parents. That is how we were raised, okay? So it's your profound duty to make sure your mom is okay. It's your profound duty to make sure they have food on the table and all of that good stuff. Now, there are some parents or let's say mom then. There's some mothers that don't really want anything from their children. They are well to do. They really don't need anything. Don't let those mom fool you guys. <laughs> if you have one of those mother that have everything, do not, do not just be like, oh, she have everything. We don't need to give her anything. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It doesn't matter how simple it is. It doesn't matter how much your mom have. Find something, anything, something something it's all about showing appreciation and you know you have some of these moms out there that have everything and you're like oh mom have everything but they're still looking for that little thing that's just little thing to show you care okay that simple little thing to show you care if it's even back home we would say if it's even an icy mint okay now the reason why i mentioned culture is that i'm not sure that all cultures are like that where children are expected to take care of their parents but my culture we are expected to take care of our parents okay whether or not they're they have or they don't have so i just want to show them that out regardless of if you know depending on your culture you might not celebrate certain things you might not do certain things but when it comes on to your mother try to show some love regardless all right so 
golden child my mom my mom get mad if we spend a lot of money and give she would prefer something home made and yes that's why i'm saying you have some of those mom out there they have everything okay but any little thing something don't have to be something expensive just something and see homemade because you put all that love in it all that love that's why i was just talking about breakfast this morning simple little breakfast in bed like a little toast little something that's what especially parents that have you know a lot you know just something special a little tiny thing like for me like i i'm not crazy about people doing like big things for me okay and that's the honest truth it's not about like oh you know be sure enough or anything like that but i'm not crazy about the big things you know what you can get me with the simplest of thing the simplest of things it's all about the thoughts that go into it the simplest of thing i'm one type of person that you can give me a body lotion for my birthday and i'm crying like he, he, he. no and that is the truth okay that is the truth a body lotion that i like you understand what I'm saying? You don't need to buy me Rolex. You don't not need to buy me no Bentley. You don't need to buy me those kind of thing. Buy me something simple, okay? Buy me something simple. Or you go to the grocery store and you find, let's say, a, a, a new protein drink that is really good. Like, yeah, and you bring it and you give it to me and say, here, I'm happy. Like, really, really happy. You go to the store, you get a bad soap that I like a lot or smell really good. You give it to me. That's what makes me happy. Simple things. Simple. I'm like very, 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 very easy. Okay. Very, very easy. And I like just the thought because you're going to take that time to think about what to get me. Okay. What you like. Then you're going to start to know me a little better. Oh, she like lavender. Like, yeah, give me a bar soap that smell like lavender, like something like that, the thought that goes into it. So when you're getting gift for your parents, where your mom, always remember, drop something in that bag that is very, very simple, and that is all about her, okay? That is all about her. Yes, you're gonna go get this bouquet of flowers. Some of us like to send flowers. I like to send flowers too. And then you might do a little gift basket. You actually bought that gift basket already make up, but bake a little cookie and drop it in the bag, something that she like. Do something, cook a little dish that she like and drop that in the bag. And you're gonna see when you get there that mom might just yeah, smell the flowers and all of that and start eating that cookie that is what count that is what count the simple things and the thought that count okay all right guys so welcome to sunday chit chat if you're new here we're just spending a little time talking about mother's day but we're gonna talk about a skincare now now um jill my mother like unmade cards and i said this and i said the same message every year how much i love my mom and guess what that year that you don't write that in it <laughs> if you ever don't write it in it's gonna she's gonna notice okay now i'm gonna give you a really quick joke about me and then we're gonna move on to skincare i don't send cards okay and that's the honest truth all my family know that i'm not like a card person However, we have people in our family that send cards, right? Like Pauline C. Didn't get a card this year. Pauline C is a card person. So she would send cards every year. I'm not sending cards. I'm just not into the cards. However, I like receiving cards. I'm very selfish when it comes on to that. I'll explain another time why I don't send cards, right? And, and she's on the chat. Hopefully, she's still watching. And she would tell you, any year that she somehow forget to send that card i miss that card okay i miss that card because i'm looking for it i'm looking out for that card it's some people but you don't send cards you don't see the meaning in the cards but the fact that that person practices to send me a card every year i'm still looking out for the card that means she remember me okay so cynthia you make sure you write the same thing in that card always 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 and it sounds like mm, but it's, it, it means a lot those little things simple little things like that means a lot so you might be like okay so you don't send cards so and that card so why you don't know because i i i'll send out the thing we'll talk about that that afterwards all right so let's talk a little bit about skincare if you want me to continue talking about i personally would just talk all about mother's day on this show to be honest i would talk all day about mother's day but um 
I know some people are here for skincare. Shalapi, she still spoil me till now. And that is what we like. Um, some people are good at that. And that is Adi Kanta. Adi Kanta, I hope I pronounce your name. And um, Julie, just a thought and, and super grateful. Amen. Definitely personalize it. And three day, um, uh, it's the thoughts that count. That's what I'm talking about. It's the thought. It's not about the big things, guys. Not about the big things. All right. So we are, we spent half an hour talking about Mother's Day. We can, oh, TT, welcome. Um, okay. I just read it. Uh, happy Mother's Day to you and all the mothers on the chat. If you're just joining, we're here for skincare and, you know, talking a little bit. Mother's Day come once a year, okay? We have, we talk about skincare right during the year. So it's okay today. And if any one of you have a message that you want to share, to give to your mother, you can also let me know right now. Just write it and we'll just click on it, highlight it. And your mom can come back and watch and see the comments. So if you have a comment, any message that you want to give to the mother, go ahead and comment, comment, comment. And um, <laughs> okay, okay, Shira, I could take uh, my bottle. Shira, come on now. We're gonna highlight the chat. You see, Shira prefer to get a watch, a Mavada watch, okay? She could take a Mavada watch. All right, I know you're trying to be funny here, but um. But it's true. Some parents like gift, 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 gift to each his own. Oh, you're new here. Welcome. Um, um, I, I might mess your name up though. Shira Chai. I think that's the last, um, pronunciation of the last, um, name. Now, um, Vanessa, you make me feel guilty because my mom loved cards, but if her lot, but in her last years, I was not sending card only because of change of time. And no, you got to still send it. <laughs> no, don't feel bad, but it's the truth. And trust me, she know you're not sending the card. Sometimes they look out, like I look out for that card. Okay. And I could tell when it don't come like mm, no card this year, but it's simple things, but I like to receive. I don't like to give. Okay. I don't like to send cards but the fact that let's like Pauline see always send a card I do look forward for the cards and it, it's just that simple thing because you know okay she's still thinking about me during this time now um your face is looking good and shiny I'm sweating like crazy okay I'm on the whole set of light and today is um 58 degree and I don't understand oh, oh, oh sorry sorry 58 degree and I don't understand why it's so hot where I'm hot, maybe, and these are thin things that I'm wearing, but I'm very, very hot, and that's why I am here sweating. And it's not the other sweat, in case some of you wondering, like, is that sweating going on? I think that sweating had stopped. All right, so we are moving on. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you need. Then you don't know what we're talking about when we're talking about the sweating. Okay, and all right, guys. So welcome to the live chat. It's a Mother's Day. And we're going to talk a little bit about skincare, but we were talking about mothers to begin with. If I don't read your comment or I like your comment, um, it's just because I don't see it in my view. I send you another birthday card. Okay. All right. So, um, it's 58 degree at LOM freezing in 50. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll 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 talk about that. I guess when you get um a little um when you get um yeah, fifty eight is pretty warm nowadays. Okay, well when you get used to the colder temperature, I think fifty eight sixty that's like a very very nice day. Okay, like a very very nice day. Um, when you're you know living somewhere where you have winter and i'm um, in new york we do have winter and like today is considered very very nice okay all right so um um let's let's see who is here um um Amil, amilda amilda welcome to the chat all right so let's talk a little bit about a skincare since we spent half an hour talking about mother's day as i said i could spend the entire day talking about mothers because they deserve it okay there's so many mothers out there that are single parents and they could you know just do whatever it takes to make their children happy and not only that to make that sure that there's food on the table and sometimes you know some of us don't really realize 
what it takes to make sure that there's always something okay that there's always something you have a lot of mothers out there they would just give their last to their children do it out like do it out make sure their children have food and some people not everyone is born with a gold spoon you know some of us are coming from background where our parents like really really work hard really work hard to make two ends meet and to make sure that we go to school to make sure that we have shoes to wear to make sure we have clothes to make sure when we come home we have a hot meal and sometimes we don't appreciate these things we just think that okay it's your mom they're supposed to do it okay they're supposed to do it but no no it takes a lot it takes a lot and we need to spend that time to give back and really appreciate um, our parents mother and uh, old and um, Letitia donor greetings from London welcome and we have um Yvonne God bless everyone beautiful Titi happy Mother's Day and uh, for real M K M H K M F all right so let's talk about skincare a little bit since I could see the chat you know fluctuating because we're talking about mothers and I'm looking at the chat like Okay, so people don't like to talk about their mother. I would spend all evening. I have a lot of stories that I could talk about. Anyway, let's talk about collagen a little. And those of you who are wondering if the you know last minute gift, you can actually you know make sure to get your mom a uh, uh, um, a serum that is rich in vitamin A. Uh, collagen boots and serum is good, right? A skincare. A spa date, okay? Those are things that you do for your mom. And you don't necessarily have to, how oh, about this? Let me give a last minute tip. If you have a mom, you're very, very, you know, tight with your mom. Your mom is not up on, you know, want to go to no spa these days because of what is happening. Do you know that you could take the spa there? You could go there, get in your kitchen, your mama kitchen, whip up something and right there. And then you could give your mama facial. Okay. Yes, you can. You can go with them oatmeal or whatever it is. And some of us, our mom need that. Um, just before COVID, um, it, one of the things that I was planning and doing for this channel was to go visit like the golden age home where you have, you know, those older folks. And I was going to go make sure on the permission that is and do a weekly visit where I go and give the ladies their, their facial. That is what I want to do. But then, you know, with all everything that happened, then, you know, people couldn't get to do that. But hopefully when things get back better, that is something I want to do. Like I really want to do something like that, like just to make them feel good and make them feel pretty, like just fix their face. And then I put, you know, the little makeup on and comb the hair nice. I anyway, hopefully finger crossed that things will happen again. So you can do those things for your parents and they'll appreciate it. I know some of them miserable, like you ain't gonna touch my face today, but you know, just think of those, those little things that you can do. Now, um, Cynthia, um, Co never know the use of his tail until fly take it. LOL, you say fly take it. I always say until it break off. And a lot of people don't know the use of the parents until the parents is gone. Then you start to, anyway, start to cry. Oh, there's this show. And any one of you who have not watched this show, it's a show that they normally hear run about Mother's Day, run about this time of the year. And I think I watch it probably about six times. They have different version of it. And it's Imitation of Life. If you haven't seen that movie, you should all watch that movie, Imitation of Life. I'm not going to go in full details about the movie because I don't know, you know, with this kind of platform or whatever. But Imitation of Life is, is a movie that most people need to see. Most people need to see that movie. Very, very touching. It's about a mother and a daughter. And the story goes on. So if you have watched that movie before, you can comment. But as I said, I watch it and they, they have the black and white and they have what they call the colored one, like because colored, not about skin color, colored meaning technicolor. It was first filmed in black and white, then they reflim it in color. People don't, some of you might not know that before it was black and white TV, right? And then afterwards they bring in the color and when it just came, they didn't call it color TV, they call it Technicolor TV. And then afterward they just dropped the Techni and just start to call it color. Now nowadays it just 
TV. Okay. All right. So, um, oh my God, what a good film. I cried. <laughs> okay. Okay. So people know what I'm talking about. It's imitation of life. And someone just highlighted imitation of life. Ivan just, I like that movie. If you have not watched that movie, watch it. Okay. If you, it's somewhere around, maybe you can find it like on Netflix if you have net, but it's, you'll find it somewhere out there. It's out there. It's really worth watching. Now we have, um, someone asking about skincare. So, um, someone watch it with their mom. Whenever you are, when, wherever you, whenever, wherever you are happy mother's day all right guys so let's talk about 20 minutes now we're going to talk about skincare if you're just joining we spend a lot of time today talking about mothers on a whole and i personally enjoyed this segment because i like to talk about mothers like nowadays uh, it's all good mother's day and we were just sharing just now a movie about a mother and a daughter it's all about mother's love okay it's all about mother's love and if you have not seen that movie i would really you know want you all to try and watch that movie it is a must watch okay it's a must watch so now we're done we're gonna talk about a skincare i made a dry face wash with oatmeal and rice and i am loving it only only the you only tried it twice i think that's what you're saying okay so let's now talk anything with oatmeal for oily skin is good oatmeal have to absorb the excess oil from the skin so if you find that you have the oily skin or even combination skin the oatmeal is good however it is also an amazing exfoliator you can use that oatmeal to get rid of the the dead skin cells on the face and just get rid of any form of uh blackheads and whitehead and if you have like large pores that oatmeal was gonna seep deep into the pores okay so definitely uh amazing combination now when it comes on to rice anyone watch this channel would know that it is one of my favorite thing to use on my skin even more than the oatmeal the oatmeal is great don't get me wrong but when it comes on to that blended rice powder and you can mix the rice powder with a wide variety of things i like the rice powder a lot because i feel like it make my face look really bright and fresh so oatmeal or rice do the same thing the next thing that the rice also do is that it have to smooth the wrinkles on the skin now um Ines, i just made cucumber for hydration today that cucumber mixture that i shared earlier is really really nice i like it so much i didn't use the vegetable glycerin in it because i promise you all that this month the entire month of May, every video that I post, and you can go back and take a note of it, it's gonna be some ingredients that you can find in the kitchen because I get a lot of feedback that, oh no, some of these things you're using is too expensive. We can't find them in the kitchen. So I promise the month of May, all natural. We're using the potato, we're using the banana, we're using all the natural things that you, I'm sure most of you, have in the kitchen but if you make that mix mixture and you have the vegetable glycerin you can use a little vegetable glycerin in it and that is also going to have to preserve it and to keep it looking keep it longer it can go normally bacteria start to farm and your diy run about the seven day mark when you use a little bit of the vitamin e or the vegetable glycerin you can get another three to four days out of it okay i have to say seven days because that's when back to be on the safe side when bacteria start to form. But the honest truth is most of these can go up to about 15 days before it go bad. The vegetable glycerin or the vitamin E will keep it, you know, um, a little longer. So, um, Juliana, check the ice massage on Amazon. It's out of stock. I told you, I, I actually went in and bought most of them, but Juliana, I'll try to get you one cause I have a gift for you anyway. So, all right. So, hopefully they'll get them back in stock soon and i know they raised the price too just so you know all right so um the recipe you gave last week yes that was um recipe rita i have really slipped on my skincare and i believe that you slip on your skincare rita because we haven't been seeing you as often as you used to right on my skincare i've been having a friend of mine that okay okay you were doing a good deed so we forgave you um been with her almost i you see i knew it because i'm like 
you're not on as often as you used to. And for so those of you 3D gaming, some of you might not be sure. That's Rita, and that's one of our dyadic subscribers using her husband. And how long are you going to continue using your husband's phone? All right. Anyway, we're here in your business out, um, Rita. Now, they are my dyadic subscriber. I can joke around. All right. In case you're new and you're wondering, yes, there are people on here that I can joke around with. I am currently using retinol, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C. Now, retinol is a vitamin A. Vitamin C is vitamin C. Hyaluronic acid is good for getting rid of dead skin cells, and it is also great for skin cells rejuvenation. So very, very good combination, especially for anti-aging purposes. Now we have, um, I'm using your anti-aging serum, loving it. I can see the difference. And the honest truth is all the recipe works, believe it or not, all the recipe work. The, the important thing is to cleanse the skin. Once you know how to cleanse your skin, then you will find that the products that you use on the skin actually works better for your skin. Now, um, Julie, I just, I, I have just applied your nighttime serum, aloe vera, honey, vegetable glycerin, and cucumber oil. Amazing and very, very hydrating. And it is also not greasy at all. I want this, I want you all to know that. And someone was asking me about the honey in that recipe. It's just a little bit of a honey that we use. So it's not going to have the skin feeling all sticky. It's just going to have your skin just feeling smooth and hydrated. Now, Taryn, I did several of your recipe this morning. I see people are doing because we post one with cucumber this morning. People are loving the cucumber. Um, cucumber with parsley, mouthwash, toothpaste. Oh, wow. You really do a full facial this morning. The hydrate your skin recipe with cucumber you post recently. And the remedy you gave um, May 9th. 2021 so you definitely doing your thing and i sure that you're seeing an amazing result i cleanse for one minute and we have inez i use rose hip and kiwi and papaya every day is that okay now let's break down um inez um ingredients that she's using are you using the papaya seed oil or are you using papaya papaya now rose hip is an oil that i personally like will not do without and if you have to get one special oil it's the rose hip oil the reason for that it is rich in vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin e all three ingredients you'll find in the rose hip oil it's good for most skin type it's good for reducing wrinkles and it's amazing for boots in collagen the kiwi is an oil that i recently discovered rich in vitamin k meaning that it's good for your under eyes this is also a very very light oil so you can mix it with the rose hip oil but if you're looking for a real good oil for your under eyes then you check out that kiwi oil and the papaya if it's the papaya seed oil that you're using amazing it's rich in vitamin a also and vitamin c a perfect one of my favorite introduced to me by rita also anti-aging facial oil love it very very good combination and to answer your question yes 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 now we have um I'm gonna make rose water as you instructed. Definitely, definitely. Now we have, I like the buckthorn oil. I talk about this on one of my oil special that we have. I don't use it much on the channel, but now I notice some of my subscribers do use it. So I will feature it a little bit more and I will promise to come back and give the full detail and the full you know, in, um, vitamins and minerals that is in the buckthorn oil. Now, um, Thea, um can i use the cucumber juice only as a toner or do i need to dilute it you can use it as a toner just like that but i like i would suggest that you dilute it that best if you have rose water best dilute it with some rose water no rose water and you have a green tea bag brew it and you dilute it with it just shake that up and if you have a little bit of vegetable glycerin you can hide it but it's optional but definitely yes if you don't dilute it it's gonna have a little bit of a stickiness to it just a little so dilute it for you know for it to be more um spreadable very 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 good now we have cynthia i introduced my sister and she started doing the challenge also as a sister 
in Jamaica. Definitely the challenge, guys. If you're new and you don't know about the challenge, the challenge was a success. The second chat, the first challenge was good. The second cha challenge was a success. You still can do the 25 day skincare challenge. Go on my website in and click on the links that you notice. You know, I have, and this is the link to my website. You can check it out. You can get the printout from day one to day 28, and you can watch the videos along with the print out and that's how you do the 25 day skincare challenge now the the honest truth about the 25 day skincare challenge is that you can learn a lot in 28 days how to take care of your skin at the end of the 25 days challenge you will now become it will become a routine so you don't even need to look at the printout you would already know what to do to your skin amazing 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 so if you want a skincare routine go on the website for it and print it out or each eye, you know, write it out, but get that skincare routine. You can do just the weekly one. Choose any week you want. You can choose week one, week two, week three, and just start wherever you want. It's good to start from day one anyway. For that's the base where you learn to cleanse your skin. Maria is it's powerful for rosy, but just the color yourself, orange stain is good. I'm not sure what you're saying. However, I'm assuming that you're saying that some rosehip oil have a very strong color. Yes, you're gonna find rosehip oil that more orange-like, and I actually, one of mine is like that, it's all good, okay? Remember that is some of those bulb bulb on those um rose some are more red and some are more orange, and that is why the colors varies, okay? All right, so um, what do you, what do you use to make rose water? Now, rose water is very easy to make. Rose water is easy to make. Lavender water is easy to make, okay? Now, the honest truth is do not go to the flower shop and buy rose petal to make your rose water. Those are sprayed. But if you have a rose plant at home or if you know where you can get roses where it's not sprayed, then you can use that. What you do, you get a whole bunch of rose petal and you put some water on. When the water, two ways you can do it. When the water starts to boil, you can dump that rose petal in it, turn the stove off, cover it, and set it there for overnight, strain it the next day, put it in your refrigerator, you have rose water, okay? Now, there's no preservative in that, so it's going to go bad. They're going to say seven days, but the honest truth, it could go up to 14 days. But if you have vegetable glycerin and you pour a little in it, it's going to preserve it longer. Now, there's another ingredient that we don't use on the channel. And the reason why we don't use it, because it's a little controversial and it's called percolene glycol. It's preservative. It's stronger than the vegetable glycerin. Okay. And that is what they use in cosmetics to keep it longer. So if you have the percolene glycol and you want to use it, you can use it. Don't run out and buy, keep your rose water just like that. Make a small batch when it is done seven to 10 days, you make a new batch, okay? Now, when you spray it, strain that off. The second way to do it is to dump all those rose petals in water, put it on the stove, and as soon as the stove is gonna start, when the water start to boil, you turn it off, you take it off, you put it one side, it brew. Don't expect it to come out as pink, as you might see some people with rose water looking pink. No, the color, only spray petals come out pinkish. You do get a little pretty stain to it, but not as pink as you might see some people. It's because of the spray. But that's how you make it, and that's the same way you make the lavender water. Now, some of you might not know, but let's say like Amazon, they sell edible, edible, rose petal and i bought those and i actually make some video using it those videos didn't go well but yeah and you also have the rose petal powder where they take the dry petal and they blend it to a powder and that you can use to make your facial you know you can use it in your oatmeal i, I promise i'll make a few videos with that the reason why i wasn't so keen on making because i know people are going to be like oh we got to go out and buy the rose petal and i didn't want to get that but if you have rose petal at home your whole little rose plant that you know it's no fertilizer no nothing 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 you get a petal and you use it up use it up people are eating you know roses these days anyway it's 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 pretty easy promise you guys this week i'm gonna make a a, a, a video using that rose petal with probably with some oatmeal for you to, to see how it works but 
brew the, the rose petal, the lavender. You can get lavender to buy on Amazon also. You know, we don't, most people don't have access to lavender because it's not, you know, it's more, you know, European thing in terms of growing it, but you can get the dry lavender. You can brew it just the same and strain it off. And there you get lavender water. Pretty, pretty easy to make. Now we have Jesse greetings and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in this group. And that's a nice pair of Gucci shoes you have there. It's like a plank eel looking all amazing. Now, um, um, Begon using natural remedy. Let's not forget our mother earth and moon. We all with her and finally rest her, our, her arms. I'm trying to figure exactly um, what you're saying, but yes, um, very, very good. Now, Cynthia, I start using my steamer, loving it. Chichi, you're so genius. Thanks a lot. Now you got it. You love, you need to use it, right? And you know this is going to cut off with like in three minutes or so. Really, 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 really good. I'm glad you're using it. And all of you who get your little token as a steamer, please use the steamer. Do not just take it and be like, look at it and use it one day. And then you put it down and you forget about it. The steamer works and it don't take a long time. You fill that little jar in you stamp it in you put it on two three minutes team coming up you sit there and it shut most of them shut off by themselves and i know a lot of you have it because i do send a lot how for most of you that you know get your little gift during the holidays so you most of you get a little steamer so use it up use it up use it up can you use dry rose and how yes you use the dry same just as how i explained you take that dry one you pour it in the pot cover it, let it steam, and, and, and there you straight it off, and you are good to go. All right, now if you do not have a steamer, we talk about this a lot, how to steam the face. You really do not need a fancy steamer to steam the face. You just boil up that pot of water, and you can even pour some out in something and let that steam eat your face. The honest truth is that's the old method, but it is probably even better than the steamer. And Cynthia, you have a steamer, so you know what I'm saying. Yes, it's nice you have the fancy little steamer, but be honest, if you're using, let's like how I use that kettle or that hot water, because it's so much wider, like, you know, the pot you're using and more steam is even coming up than the steamer. With the facial steamer, you gotta circle your face like this to make that steam eat your face. When you're using the pot, all of that, especially if you're using an open pot, all of that water is eating your face. And not only is eating your face, is the neck also. With the steamer, you gotta put it down on the neck and doing your little dance around the steamer. So don't feel left out if you don't have a regular steamer because the hot water works the pot really, really works very, 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 very well. Happy Sunday to you, Pat, and welcome. Now, Maureen, vegetable glycer glycerin and vegetable glycerin, what is the difference? The diff we get this question all the time. Now, before I answer this question, let me tell you guys something really, really quick. Someone comment on... I was asking a question about the daytime show and, you know, whether or not to con continue it. Now, I don't know if the person is on. So the person was saying, you know, don't feel offended. This is, um, you know, legit criticism. Um, you know, I would suggest that you do take an acting class and what else? Something else. But anyway, the acting class stand out. So I need to take an acting class because some of my videos are very repetitive. So I was like to myself, I was like, any day that I come on my channel and I start acting is the day that I'm not loving doing my job on this channel. And and not being, you know, I don't want to be sarcastic. I do understand what the person is saying, to be honest. I understand. The person wants a little bit more drama, a little bit more, you know, you know, you know, you know. To on the on, on the channel the honest truth when i try to do something else sometimes it's not you know welcoming because most people are just here for skincare and i do understand that when you come on our live show we repeat a lot we repeat a lot and i always try to point it out why we repeat so much on the live chat is because we have new subscribers every day and the honest truth on my channel 
It's not five new subscribers per week. It's not 10 new subscribers per week. It's sometimes a thousand new subscribers per week. Sometimes 5,000 new subscribers, sometimes 6,000, sometimes 10,000 new subscribers per month. So when a person that is new comes on, they're gonna ask question that you who are already watching, you would have already know the answer. So you're gonna feel like, oh, she just keep repeating, she keep repeating. I cannot ignore my new subscribers, okay? I honestly cannot ignore my new subscribers. So I have to take the, answer the question. So if you see a question, that you already know like you know we're going to talk about the eye dark circles most of you who are always always on you know the answer what you can do for me however to cut out me answering all these questions you know the answer type it in like let's say maureen asks now the difference you already know just at Marine, blam, blam, blam. And you type it in and that will cut down on me repeating myself so much. And then you guys could actually, you know, let me continue with the show. And I think that's, that's fair enough. So Marine, what happened? Vegetable glycerin is made from vegetable. Now glycerin itself is, you know, man-made. Okay. Now the difference is it all have to do with all natural everything that is in the vegetable glycerin is natural the the glycerin is synthetic okay so that is the difference however it's all good now you're and I, i'll elaborate a little bit more i'm going to bring out the two different glycerin for you all one day and just go in full details and talk even more about what makes up the, the 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 vegetable glycerin and what makes up the glycerin so that is the own the difference and there's some ingredients that is in the glycerin that is not like vegan friendly while the vegetable glycerin is all all vegetables so it's vegan and vegetarian friendly okay all right so um and remind me always to to come and do the this difference um between the two now um yvonne i i prefer you just the way you you are to be honest i would not change a thing chichi no need for the extra stuff thank you so much for that chichi you are being yourself thank you for that and honestly if i come on here and i start acting like all of you that is normally here you're gonna see the difference and so you might be like something is wrong here right something is very 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 wrong but the person honestly didn't mean any harm i understand she need a little bit more probably a little bit more drama and we're gonna try to bring the drama in the daytime show right so we're trying to do once per week but we'll see how it go with the drama but i i can't do the acting i like to keep it real if i'm talking about skincare it have to be it have to be be real and even if i'm gonna be vlogging then it's not gonna be acting acting is just not gonna work now i love your video because you're natural and talk about real life skin problem and you're not reading a script please don't change and thank you so much for that now see we don't like drama all right so now you understand what i am saying broadway is not um good for everyone all right all right so so yes i'm just gonna keep it real and i like to just explain that i'm gonna repeat an answer or i'm gonna keep talking about collagen because this is what affects our skin and we're gonna talk about dark spots and we're always always gonna talk about dark on the eye circles because it's always happening and guess what sometimes you're gonna use something and it's gonna work and after a while it's not gonna work and you're gonna come back now like rita rita just fall off of the bandwagon what was she doing she was taking care of business she was being good to someone and she totally ignored the skin that is life okay that is life and the good thing about my channel and we have a lot of people like sometimes they come on and they'll be like you know two years ago i was watching and i stopped and now i'm back because guess what happened that is life sometimes you're into something and then after a while you're not into it and then another time you're gonna be like you know what I think I need to stop by taking care of my skin. So it's all good, you know, it's, it is all good. And if you're doing skincare and if you click off my channel and you go on another skincare challenge channel, it's going to be the same thing they're talking about collagen, dark under eye circles, you name it. The honest truth is there's a lot of 
videos, a lot of channels out there that do natural remedies. I think my channel is different because I not only share natural remedies. And if you're new and you're here, you will notice not only do I share natural remedies, I like to tell you guys exactly what the remedy, the ingredient is good for all the vitamins and minerals. Why do I do that in full details? I could come on and I could make three minute videos. And that is the truth. I could make a three minute videos. I could just, you know, the cucumber recipe, you need a half a cucumber. You also need, what else I put in that recipe to do? You need a half a cucumber. You need some um, vitamin E oil. You're gonna just blend that cucumber, strain that cucumber, extract the juice, add a little vitamin E oil, and you can also add a little vegetable glycerin to it and, you know, put a teaspoon of avocado oil in it. And there you have an amazing hydrating facial moisturizer. Now you're going to go and you take it and you use it. But why are you using it? That's just me, okay? I asked a lot of questions when I was going growing up. If you give me something to put on my face, you need to tell me what it is, okay? Don't just tell me to whip something up and use. I need to know why am I using it? What good is going to do to my skin? Why did you use cucumber? How could what how cucumber benefit my skin? That is why my videos are like that. And I am not going to change it because I feel that is important. Okay. Whether I get a lot of views or not, or people complain the video is too long. You should know. Okay. You should know and know why you're using it. And whenever you come on my channel and I mention something, and if you're not clear on it, go and research it, go and Google it. Okay. Because that's all you learn. And when you, the foundation of taking care of your skin is knowing is knowing and that's why people jump from one thing to the other products to products to products and still don't know what they're looking for if you are in your 50s upwards you need to know that it's about time you start using some vitamin a on the skin now you're gonna go out there you're going to the store you're gonna see retinol and you come back and like i'm using ret most people and this is the truth most people did not know that retinol is simple vitamin a most people don't know that. That is just just a fancy word for vitamin A in the skincare world. Okay. Now, if you come on my channel and you're regular on my channel, you would know when you go out there and you see all that fancy nice bottle and it said retinol, you scratch your head and say, but that's just vitamin A mixed up with some other oils. Okay. So that's what we do on this channel. We give you the, the backside of things. We share exactly what goes into these things. So you can know, do we stop people from using store bottles? But no, no, what we do, we enlighten you. That's when you go out, you know how to read the labels and you know exactly what you're getting. And some of you, when you read the labels, you're like, but they're using rice in this. Yes, they're using rice because they take the enzyme and that's what they mix up with some coconut oil or some turmeric powder and get this nice cream. So you know, and you know why they are using the turmeric, like, okay, so they use turmeric in this because the turmeric is going to have to brighten my skin. Oh, they're using vitamin A. That means it's good for the wrinkles and fine lines. So that is what we do on this channel. I don't know how to act it, <laughs> right? So I, I probably need to practice to act for real. All right. But anyway, I'm just saying and just basically explaining why we repeat things a lot. So retina, vitamin A is retina almost every show. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Avocado oil, almost every show. A, B, C, and also electrolytes. If you watch, you know, you know. I love how down to hurt and real you really are, Chichi. Don't change for anyone. Thank you so much. If you're just joining, we actually start. Hi, Jackie Mom. How are you? You are looking sharp, refreshing, and sharp. Thank you. It's Mother's Day, you know. It's Mother's Day. Um, you keep it real. That is you. Thank you so much for that. If you're just joining, it's Mother's Day. So we spend the first half an hour of the show basically just chit chatting and sharing a little bit about mothers and what they mean to us and all of that. We spend the other half an hour just talking about uh, skincare. Now I know a lot of you are here for dark spot blemishes and everything that is good for the skin. So don't feel like you miss anything out. And, um, 
okay don't feel like you missed anything out because sunday chit chat will be on next week sunday at 4 30. now we have some good news about the daytime show what we're gonna do for the rest of the month we are gonna have our daytime show once per week for the rest of this month and then we're gonna take it back to the drawing board and decide whether or not we're gonna come back with two days a week for the summer but i personally love the daytime show however it wasn't like you know as we wanted but the honest truth is anything that you start it need time to grow time to grow and i think when you're on this platform we're so used to you know when you put things out you just grow 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 but you know it was getting better to me it was getting better it was getting better but we decided that it was a series that we were going to run for one month which was the month of april to see how it goes now you know the regular watchers really really um want the show back what i would suggest however or what i'm asking is we need people on the show okay we need people on the show for it to be a little bit more interactive and all of that so if you want to be on the daytime show just let us know you don't have to be fancy looking you you know as you said it's all natural over here we keep it real so we're gonna bring back the show and we're doing the show every tuesday at 12 noon to begin with every tuesday for the rest of the month of may tuesday at 12 noon and that is weekday with chichi beauty in case you don't know what we're talking about we have a daytime show weekdays it was monday to thursday but we're going for once per week tuesday 12 noon eastern standard time weekdays with chichi we're gonna run it for a while and then we'll know if we're gonna pick up with at least two more days so that's the announcement now if you didn't you know feel satisfied that you didn't learn more about collagen dark spots and blemishes and you know sagging and wrinkled skin do not click off because of that because guess what we have some playlists below link below where you can go and watch some of our older videos or come back on sunday where we're gonna have the entire show talking about a skincare so that's my show to, for today but i'm gonna take a few more questions and then i'm gonna be out of here who is cooking for their mother today if you're cooking for your mama today comment and let me hear and if you are a mom and the children are cooking comment and let me hear i want to know who's getting special treat hi sandra i haven't seen you for a while there's sandra levy um and thank you for that if you are being cooked for today comment and if you're cooking for someone today which you have the week tuesday um i'm gonna post a thumbnail pretty early i'm trying to do it tonight tuesday 12 noon weekdays with chichi beauty eastern standard time if you're get um and who is going out new york is opening up okay new york is back up and running like you know people are everywhere people are eating out and things is happening so some people are really eating out if you're eating out today come and let me hear if the children are taking you out or if you're taking someone out meaning your mom let me hear from you and i had a question earlier who actually at uh, which mom on here oh oh my goodness i totally forget something and no one remind me no one remind me of what i have all right so today is mother's day and we have and i'm thinking of how best to do this now we have how best to do this we have three gift basket to give away i totally forget we have three gift basket to give away three gift basket mother's day basket now someone that who is watching right now tell me what i need to do to give away this basket i have no clue who to choose okay and that is the that is my biggest issue right now i would love to give that this gift basket to everyone that is watching however i only have three i have three gift basket to give to a well deserving mother now let's be honest the well-deserving mother and don't you know get offended need to be either in canada america uk france and i think that's it maybe there's another country that i'm missing 
Europe on a whole, I think, America, Canada, UK. Okay, all right. So let's say like you're in South Africa or so, I cannot send the gift there. But I have three gift baskets to give to a well-deserving mother. I'm going to ask you guys, help me right now, really, really quick. What do I need to do right now to select that well-deserving mother? Give me, give me an idea. Give it to your most commented or active subscriber. That's an idea. But I just, uh, I so take care of them that. All right, Tori. All right. Give me an idea really, really quick. How to give. Or if not, then I'm going to do the regular way where I just, when the show is over, I pick all the names, put them in a the bag, and pull three names out. However, if you guys can help me right now, to give away the three basket give me an idea what to do my way is to just pull all the names from today comment put it in a bag and shake it up which wouldn't be until next sunday to announce the gift basket if you guys have a better way if i said to do the number what is going to happen we're going to have a lot of people having the same number because of the live chat like we're going to be like a number from that 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 is going to be like that Pick the names in a bag. So Terence just said to pick the names in a bag. The person who spoke mostly highly of their mom. I was thinking that also. Now the person who spoke highly of their mom, um, 42, um, what about Jamaica? I know you guys. I'm telling you, I have something in store for you all. Jamaica could enter also, right? Yes, if you're from Jamaica, definitely you can enter. Name in a bag. Give it to everyone chatting with you. Now, I would love to, but I have three. Jamaica not in. All right, Shereen, it's in. Jamaica is in the bag. All right, so, all right, pick the name. Someone want, I can't pick, because then I'm going to be... Um, selfish or everyone i wish i could do everyone to be honest i let the subscriber comment why they need the gift we did that the last time evenly we did that um i have four great kids and seven grandkids to to love i need this and we have um name in the bag but i want a basket <laughs> all right all right so if you all for name in the bag, comment right now. If you think I should put the name in the bag, but that's fear because I can get all the names. When the show is over, I can go back, but the, the names would not be announced until next week. If I'm going to do name in the bag, it's not going to announce until next week. So most people think we should do the names in the bag. All right, so I think that's fair. So we're going to do the names in the bag, and none of you can come up with something for me to give it away right now so it would be nice to give it away on mother's day right it really would be nice but it's very very challenging very very challenging so we're gonna do the names in the back so come back next week and we're gonna have the bag and most people are familiar with our little burgundy bag so we're gonna do the names in the, the bag and then all right so that's what we're doing so next week come watch our sunday chit chat we have three gift basket for our mothers three special mom and while you are at it it don't hurt to send an email to chitty beauty let's put the email up there and this is another thing we're doing that's the email that's um that's the dot com let's do the email um let me find the email for you all send it don't hurt to send an email to chichibeauty at gmail.com and tell us we're still going to do the name in the bag, okay? But for those of you who really could write, okay, send an email to chichibeauty at gmail.com and tell us why you think you deserve a gift basket, okay? We're going to do the names in the bag, but we also would like you to write us and tell us why you think you deserve a gift basket and we only want mothers to do this now okay to be fair okay we only want the mothers to do that tell us why you deserve a gift basket meaning you're gonna you know i'm a mom of that i take care of my kids blah 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 but we're also doing the name in the bag so we're gonna have something separate for those who write in and make sure you're willing for your name and we need to read we're going to read whatever you send to us if we choose you for the winner okay so two ways we're doing it we're doing the name in the bag and we're doing another special 
for whoever writing a separate bag for the best, the best person letter why do you deserve a gift basket? And we have a little tweak and of a surprise for the writers, okay? All right, so that is my time. Happy Mother's Day. Go take your mama out. Go cook for your mama or go eat your mama food. Some of you mothers, they still expect the mother to cook. Do whatever you need to do. You can draw on the daytime show. The reason why we're not gonna draw it on the daytime show, Maya, because we have a different set of crowd except for the regulars. So we come back. It will be nice, but we'll do it next Sunday. But the, so it'd be fair to people watch today, okay? All right, so come back next Sunday. We're gonna draw the names and we're asking the writers now. The writers that really can write, let us know why you deserve a gift basket. Send it to chichibeauty at gmail.com. And also, read a friend, um, Kelly, who want to give some special um, priors going out. Let me put Rita um, right here. So you can read it if you believe in prior. Just pray for Rita Friend Kelly. She just had her um, roller cup repair. So, you know, we're putting it out there. As you said, if you believe in prior, um, give some love to Kelly. And uh, let's see who else is here. Happy Mother's Day, Maxine David. My time is up, guys. I actually go over time. And um, happy Mother's Day to all the people in my life that actually show me some motherly love and happy Mother's Day to, you know, my family members that are mothers, my subscribers, everyone. Enjoy the day. Take care of your mom. Be good to yourself. Love you. See you Tuesday, weekdays with Chichi Beauty and see you next Sunday, the basket, skincare and all the good stuff. Thank you for being here and thank you for always watching and commenting. Be good to yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.